Hello my beautiful people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Happy bling bling day. I am excited. Today we are going to do a version of this. I will link this video. This is what I call the self-portrait because of the colors in my hair. <laughs> Same as the balls. I had fun with this. So today we're going to do another version, but ready? The hair is going to be a Dutch pour. I'm excited. So with that, further ado, we're going to get right into this. I want you to get yourself a coffee, get yourself a drink. I know it's probably going to be in the afternoon. So even have a, a beer, whatever. Grab munchies and I'm going to get out of my blingy outfit, get my working clothes on and I'll be right back guys. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, we are back. I have my canvas taped, push pinned. I will link them into the description box, the push pins. Um, I have mixed up some more paint. This one is um, Dollar and Round Me. Just the white paint. And I have it mixed in my Dutch pour mix. I will link the pour video, mixing video in the description box and it will be linked on the end card. So I'm gonna go through my colors. We are, because it's my hair, we're gonna do this Pebbleo Studio Iridescent Blue Black. We will definitely be doing, because I have blue, green, and purpley pink, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. That'll be the green. We will be doing Artist Loft Metallic Blue. We will also be doing silver because Sherry has some silver highlights in that hair with the Pebbleo Studio Iridescent Silver. And I am torn between which one of these. I have purple and I'm trying to think, I'm probably going to do the Liquid X Basics Dioxine Purple because I think these two would be just a little light to go with these. And then because it's my hair is black. We might throw a little bit of this um, Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Black in there. So those will be, I don't know. Now that I'm looking at that, the Quadrocenter Magenta is beautiful, but I'm thinking we might do this one. We'll do those. Oh, I'm going to put that up there. I have my mixed paint. Okay, I'm going to tell you what my process in my brain is. Now, as you know, my videos, it may change as the process goes on. This is going to be down here. So my brain sometimes works good, sometimes it doesn't. I am going to put all my paint like this and I'm going to blow. So my hair is going to be right off this total canvas. I'm going to probably bring it up a little higher, up to about here, and start. And I want to maybe, if I can, maybe, now that I have that beautifully nice blow dryer, blow a little bit kind of like this. Then I'm going to let it dry. Then I'm going to come back and possibly do a headband in some form of broken glass, glitter, maybe even some of these pearly things that I had purchased. Whoops. So we're going to play, guys. We'll do some red lips. We'll put a bracelet on there with some stuff. So we're going to go. But anyways, we're going to start with, I thought I would do the whole base coat. And that way there is paint underneath of this as well. So here we go. We're just going to get right into this. And I'm going to give it a blow dry off. Get this all on there and I'll see you guys in a second. Here we go. This is so funny because this... I have to make sure that it's... Uh, here we go.
down here I do not want all of the paint right because we're gonna whoops that's where my uh, decal is gonna go just want to make sure all my edges are done and yes I will pour more paint but I'll probably <clears throat> do it around so let me see how can I do this without? Okay, so in my little brain, let me, whew, I'm gonna take this black. Oh my goodness, we got stuff on here already. Me do a quick torch you do torch so that you can break the bubbles burst all those bubbles because you do not want bubbles in because if there are bubbles in your paint after you did your blow you will end up with little um, divots in your paint Okay, so I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want this. And I want this to start up here. Maybe here. And here. So that's going to be kind of the angle of where I want to put my paints. All right, so. Let's do this dark black because I don't want this, the Pebbleo iridescent blue black. I don't want it to be dominant, but I thought it would be kind of nice because my hair is dark. And we're just going to and again, this might not even turn out guys. I have no idea. That is why we experiment. Um, let's do the purple. This is the Liquid X Basics Deep Violet with Iridescent Medium. I know it's off kilter, but we're blowing it, so I'm not overly worried. So let's do the silver. And again, this might not even turn out again. Oh my goodness. Let's do the blue. I'm gonna do, there are those quite little dots down there, but I'm just gonna do like that of black. And then we are going to finish it off with the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And there we go. I'm going to torch this again because it's the same thing. You do not want bubbles in that paint. And I am going to, because I want it to flow, I'm going to pour a little bit around. And just because I did blow it off on the ends, I'm just going to do a little bit like that. Another torch. There might be too much paint on here now, but like I said, I want it off the canvas. It's going to have more hair than I do. So, all right, here we go. I want to make sure I got it on low. And oh, we're start. Okay, here we go.
Oh my goodness, guys. It actually turned out. I am freaking out here because this is going to be cool. Look at that. OMG. Okay, so now I'm going to play here because, like I said, I want to put a headband, but I want to have... Let me see. Because I could always bring it up. Hmm. This I'm going to get rid of. Oh, toodles. Get rid of that little bit there. And on the edges, I'm going to... Here and let me see if I oh. let me just put a dab of this here. purple and I'm gonna see if I can try and make a little bit of a uh, I don't know how to explain it I want the bang that's the word let me just wipe off this because I don't want any to lose any more of what I have on there it's a good thing to scrape your canvases and not come across like I just did so you don't accidentally put a drop of paint there um i had a paper towel um so yeah so what we're gonna do i'm gonna try and wisp out a little bit of a bang oh my goodness i am so this is it's kind of cool when a plan kind of comes together all right i'm gonna get my trusty dusty i have a littler smaller version as well this is the um, waterline hose that I was using so I don't get my lovely lady parts into my paintings. And, oh, that is paint. Okay, let me get that in. Alrighty, here we go, guys. I hope I do not ruin it because I don't want to go, I don't want to go too crazy in it. down angle and come across to here to that right about there okay let's see and we are going to like I said, where this line is, I'm going to try and do a headband. Let's see if we can put that in there more. Like a bang. I think it'll be cool. And then, like I said, I'm not too worried about this line because we're going to come in with kind of like a headband idea. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. All those little cells, and I think it's a couple of these paints that I use that make those craziness cells. All right, I'm going to let this dry overnight um, and then I will come back and we'll put our decal on. And we'll see if we can bling it up to make it look like her hair. I'm excited. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Okay, we are back. It is dry. Look at it did. It nicely brought back all those beautiful colors. Now we're going to get our girl on there. But i got to turn it around so I can see it, guys. Hopefully you're... 
good there. I'm excited. All right. So my mindfulness was a whoops. I really want that eye to be up as close as I can without. Varnish. Oh gosh, Sherry. Now the eyebrow there, I might trim it. Because I, I think it looks kind of funny with the eyebrow, the hair behind the eyebrow. sticks down. No. I'm going to peel that off. She looks hilarious without an eyebrow. And I'm just going to take the eyebrow off of this itself and see what we can do here. already broken so part of it come off already which is fine and I just want to trim it to go with there so that it's her I okay that time my memory card was full. Too funny. There's always something here. Never boring. I'm almost tempted not to put any. I was going to be all extravagant and do like I cut this into a triangle to see if it would work. It would work, but I don't know how to, I don't know. It's kind of. I could come down and then round it here, but then I would lose it. So I'm not going to put that on. I think it frames the face beautifully. What I'm thinking is I might put one of my butterflies in there that I did from the other video, or I've got gems. So I'm going to go take a peek at all that stuff, but for right now, we're going to do some nails. Whoops, I'm going to get rid of this sticky piece. And that, so the other option I had, since I have this sitting here, was this. Do the headband 
with the pearls and I think that would work. I also have this in the diamond-y thing, so I'm going to try and find that. But right now we're going to get into doing lips, nails, and eyes. Now, I lost, there's two little lines. You can see on this one, the line here and the line there, which is the crease in your eyelids. But I'm just going to color it. I'm going to put a fine little line here and little line there with some glitter to make it like eyeshadow. We're gonna do some pink lips and we're gonna do some shimmering C's for the eyeshadow. And the blueberry sparkle will be for the nails. It was a big decision what to do. All right, so I'm going to mix up. I'm going to turn this this way so I can do it a little bit better. So I've got my, I do not need a lot because as you see, there's just those two. And I just want to do kind of like a fine line there. And actually, 100%, I did that fine line with my glue pen, which I have here. But anyways, we're going to get into this. So we'll get this done here first. So we're going to do nails. Just a little bit. Whoops, a doozer. We'll do lips first. So that is the pink. I'm going to grab some spoons. And I need just a little. I don't need a whole lot because, like I said, we're just putting just a little. And I'm going to grab one of my little heat brushes. To um, put that in, just a, just a little brush. And we're going to mix this. And I think we need a little more glitter in there. Put that down there. There we go. Perfect. And we're just gonna fill in the lines of the lips. And you know what? I don't think this is going to work on here because I have the um, the glitter. Just, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to use this glue marker that I did purchase at that dollar store with more. And I'm going to do the lips. So I'm going to put glue all in here. Try to stay in the lines. take ah, this is the um, this is magenta sparkle from Laura's art corner and we're gonna have pink lips today I'm 
just happen. Oops. And then I'm going to take um, maybe just my finger and kind of pat it in, bring it to right to the edge. There we go. So we're going to let that dry. Then we're going to come in and do, get rid of that. The fingernails, which we are going to do, <clears throat> um, shifting C's. So, my goodness, I'm just not meant to video. I don't know my batteries. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like I said before, I'm gonna have to look into the plug-in aspect for my camera. So I'm just gonna put again the line there for the fingernails. Try and stay in that line. I'm gonna grab a Q-tip and I can see here where it went over the black. Perfect. So that we are going to do the blue. This one is the shifting C's. There we go. Again, this is from Laura's Art Corner. And then I'm just going to highlight the eye, like an eyeliner. I'm going to turn it this way. So look at you, you can see the pretty little girl. Bring in a little bit. There we go. Now you can see a little better what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to take my brush here and I want to get rid of any of that pink glitter that has come up. Brush it off my brush. There we go. And then I'm just going to do a fine line. What in the heck? Fine line here. Prom in my pen. And then this one will do the whole. sure if you're seeing it but I am definitely can see where the line is so that's that and we'll get out our blueberry sparkle and with these ones I wanted to use the fine glitters that's the blueberry sparkle whoops sorry I forgot I brought you up close <laughs> and here we go same idea just tapping it Actually, I'm going to turn it this way. You're still in there. Perfect. All right. Just so I can get it kind of an even line instead of kind of getting it everywhere else. There. Perfect. Alrighty. So I'm going to go grab some stuff. Let this dry. I think it's going to be pretty. 
I, like I said, I'm almost tempted not to even put a headband. But I'm going to go find a couple of things. I have some other beads. I have these that are in the, um, uh, the crystals. So I'm going to go find all that stuff and let this dry and we will be back. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, we are back. So I was playing. I pulled out a whole bunch of different things. Now, I've had these for a while. These are just from the dollar store. They're pearls. There's little flowers. And then there's all these different shapes of gems. Um, I have them in all different colors. I had them in green, purple, and clear, I think. Because I had them all out here because I was going to make another version of myself. Look at these. Would be cute for earrings. I wondered where my dinner plate went. I couldn't find it. <laughs> I had it down here. So I've kind of placed everything here. And I decided we're going to use some of this as the top of a bracelet. And put those beautiful um, blue stones. Now, I'm going to cut this in half, I think, just, it's, I love these um, stickers, because so, I think a half of one would be perfect, right, put that down there, and then put our three beads there so it's a little bling but not over in your face like if that's ever going to really happen so I'm going to remove all of these set them aside so those the that's the bracelet here let's get rid of these so I don't make a mistake so that's the bracelet and as you can see the headband I'll bring it up I basically just did a line of those um, gemstones and then I encased it with these um, teardrop shaped um, clear ones and I did the teardrops on the edges so we're gonna do this I just want to get them off and we'll separate so we'll do the just get myself a little organized Sherry's got a glue gun that's going to come out. So those are for the end. I just don't want to lose them because I just counted them. Oops, get back here. Oh, come on, Sherry. There we go. These two. Because I want to shake off our eyes shadow and our glitter and see if it turned out. I like to use a puppy pad. I'm just gonna put this underneath. There's not a lot there, but it's easier to come off of this than it is the actual white part. And I'm gonna grab just one of these brushes I have and just shake it off. And I'm hoping all is good. Perfect. We may have to touch up the, the lips. Sorry. I may have to touch up the lips here. Let me just use this stick and see if I can get... Just show that line. There, and then I'm going to come back. I'll do it after I, I, um, after I do the um, sticking on of all the other things. I'm going to take this other brush. It's a thing with using the varnish first, because if it's not quite there. So we have eyeshadow, 
we have lips do you see where i've missed a little bit so i'm going to come back and a little bit here on the nail so <clears throat> i'm going to glue all of our that's kind of pretty i'm going to glue all of these on and then we're going to come back and i will just touch up the little spots that i need all right so i'm going to turn it this way so i can see what i'm doing guys bought myself a new glue gun i'm excited all right so we started with these little guys on the end. I think it was like this. Kind of like that. So I'm just gonna... And then we did blue, green. Okay, so we'll start at <clears throat> the end and then we'll do it this way. This might be a little powerful for me. You know me and the glue gun, guys. So let's go here. Perfect. And then I'm just going to, I'll bring up all the stones. I'm just going to find this green one has a little bit of some stuff on the edging. I guess they all kind of do. That one's better. Okay. Blue, green, purple. Do that. Oops. Just kind of want to make sure I'm doing them. I think that's it. I had an extra purple one there. Okay. I want it to kind of curve. There, so I'll just lift it and I'll put it on. Just a little dab. You could do this with any glue. I just thought I would try the new glue gun. Oh, cheaper Sherry. didn't stick. Oh my goodness. And I want it to do that arc and then blue in there. I was going to do ah, clear, but I found the clear, these colors were prettier, so. Perfect. 
purple. Okay, I don't want the glue on the front because do I do one more blue? No, I think what we'll ended at the purple. Cause this is her hair but we might put another little one there let me grab and we'll do a blue one we'll do a little blue one here just to give it that little oh my goodness there's glue right there, which we'll pull off. Wow. There, and I think it brings it down a little better. And then we'll go in with all the just the plain silver all around the edge. There. And then these guys will go all around the edge. These guys we'll do down here. So we'll do green, kind of here. It's going to go the other way, this way. I'm going to put those in first. I feel like I have a weapon, this big glue gun. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. And then I just want to do just a line of them on the outside. It just kind of finishes it off with this these 
little gems there. Oh my goodness. be coming back and cleaning off all the glue on the top. Oh my goodness. have to switch the hands. I don't know what it is with me. off before it dries there. There we go. Oh my goodness, I have string everywhere of glue. Sherry. That's perfect. Look at that, guys. I think that looks kind of cute. Okay, so that I'm going to put on the bracelet. So let's do this part will go down here. And again, these are those stickers that I've been buying from the dollar store. It's just all of these amazing little gems on there. Not too worried that it's missing there because we're going to glue those three. Or do I do one of each color? And no, I think we're going to do all blue. I'm thinking I'm going to put the one in the middle first. And then we can even out the sides.
and one more. Awesome. There we go, bracelet. I'm impressed. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to fix, uh, unplug my glue gun, and I'm going to come in and attempt to fix that lips. Prime my, my glue again. I'm just going to turn it sideways so you can see what I'm doing. That's good. And a little bit here on the fingernail. And then I'll get the glitters. And I'm just going to see what I can do here without making a horrible mess. Tap it in, hopefully that'll work. And then I'm going to do the fingernail. And then we're going to let this dry. And I think we are done. a little always ends up being too much there we go perfect and then my thoughts are what do you think about putting this girl here what do you think does that look silly there or the little I know that's her hair, but I'm thinking I'm going to put that in there. My glue gun is still hot, so we're just going to glue it on in. Hold it for a second. I think that's cute. <clears throat> so I don't know. Do I finish another bead here then? I think I'll do another one of these little, little wee blues. Oh, come on. By the time I put it on there, there'll be no glue because it keeps it <laughs> sticking everywhere. Okay, I'm going to put this guy the right way down. By the time it gets there, it's going to be cold and won't stick. 
which is exactly what happened. What in the heck? I'm not meant to videotape using a glue gun, guys. I don't know. And then a clear one. To finish it off, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Now we are done. We're going to let it dry. Ow. Drop it. There we go. Finito. So I'm just going to let the um, the lips dry and the and the um, extra little bit on the fingernail, and I will be back for the reveal. I'm excited, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Hello, we are back. I am going to shake off these little bits. It's probably easier to go this way and pull out my little paper that I got already. Here, let me give me one second, guys. Perfect. There we go. I think that's good. I'm just going to try to come back and just do that little line. I keep losing when I do that, so. There. Perfect. There you go. That is the version of me in a <laughs> Dutch pour. Oh, I'm still on the fence about the little butterfly. But anyways, I'm going to bring you up because we're going to do the exit so you can compare. Look, this is the one. This is the Dutch pour. This is the, the person. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's bling bling video. It's different. I don't know, maybe you don't like it, but I think it's kind of cute. The only thing I'm not sure about is that butterfly, but I think it's amazing. So with that, my beautiful people, hope you have an amazing Sunday. If you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing to my YouTube channel. Become part of our family. We have so much fun, weird, different. You never know what you're going to get with me. So with that, in the description box, I have the links to everything I use today. I also have the links to where to purchase um, Fundy Molds with a discount code. I also have the links to where to purchase Triart Liquid Glass, where to purchase Crystal Resin. I also have the links to Let's Resin with a discount code, Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. I also have the links to the two amazing um, Lores distributors, Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her website. Um, my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. The amazing Laura, my glitter guru, my American Lores distributor, glitters from today. Uh, my discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And with that long winded, I have the links to my Amazon, which I'm an affiliate with. And I also have the links to my PayPal if you choose to donate and help support my crafting addiction. So with that, my amazing people, I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.